Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Cinelera CV where I'm going to try and show you how to turn a daytime scene into a nighttime scene. To do this I'm going to be using footage from Star Wars and the reason for that is not only can I show you how to change the colours in the shot to make it look like nighttime, I can also give you some uh, suggestions on how to handle bright light sources like a lightsaber. If I was a normal person I'd probably be using a campfire or a torch but uh, I'm a geek so lightsabers it is. So the first thing you want to do is to darken it and give it an overall blue, uh, blue tone. And I find the easiest two effects to achieve that are hue saturation and colour balance. So you turn on hue saturation and as you can see it's immediately become darker and more desaturated. I'll show you the settings I've used. Leave hue alone because that cycles through the colours of the rainbow and we're not touching that for this. Take both saturation and value down somewhat. Value goes from dark all the way through to very bright. Saturation goes from black and white through to very overcolored, and I've left them both. I think I had like 0.27 for value and 0.46 or something for for saturation. Again, you you will want to adjust that to whatever footage you have, but you want an effect that looks more or less like this. The next thing you want to do is add a blue overtone to it, for which I've used the color balance effect. Again, if I turn that on, uh, the settings I've used to achieve that are about halfway up to blue about halfway down to cyan and I've edged ever so slightly up towards green. I haven't checked preserve luminosity because as you can see it does uh, bad things to the lightsaber there um, and it doesn't look right. But again these are the two effects you want to use and you should just mess around with it until you get a good effect. And if you don't have any bright sources of light in your footage that may well be all you have to do. But as you can see here with the lightsaber or if I go back to a little bit earlier um, where this soldier gets shot and there's an explosion. This really doesn't look as bright as it would in the dark where that light would really stand out and it would glow very brightly. Um, in order to achieve a, a good effect there, unfortunately the best technique I've discovered is to simply mask out those light sources on, if necessary, a frame-by-frame -frame basis. Um, I'm not going to give you a detailed tutorial on masking because there is another tutorial available on my channel about uh, Cinelera and masks and moving masks and how to do that, um, but I will go over the basics of, of how I handled it. If you had a static light source, something that wasn't moving as fast as this lightsaber, you probably wouldn't have to do it on a uh, frame by frame basis, but for something that moves this fast, unfortunately, you are going to have to do that. So here's one I made earlier. Let me go to. Let me go. Oh, there we are. So first of all, as you can see, it looks much brighter and much better. And the way I've done that is, again, as I said, by masking. So a mask is basically where you cut out a section of the track and it shows through to what's on the track beneath. So if I go to View Mask, here you can see every single frame has a keyframe where I've moved the mask. And if in the compositor I click on the mask button, you can see there I've cut out the lightsaber and wherever I go, it's cut out his lightsaber look and it does just move along with it. Um, so obviously I've cut this out and what's it showing through to? It's showing through to an identical track underneath as you can see I have track 1, track 2, exactly the same thing but on track 1 as you've seen I have the effects to make it look like nighttime. on track 2 I don't. On track 2 it's as it would look during the daytime and we've cut it out so that his normal bright glowing lightsaber is showing through on track 1 the one tip I would have is if I show you under the mask details, I've put the feather effect on at about 50. That was trial and error to find the best amount. If I go to 100, as you can see, it's so diffuse you might as well not have it. If I go down to 10, well, if you look, it's just it's like a giant block of colour that looks awful. So I discovered that 50 seemed to be about right for this. Earlier on in this sequence, if I go all the way back to here, you can see it, turn that mask off, I have him more in the distance and here I was using a mask of about 30 because that's what looked better. So that's, that's basically it. I would note at this point that what I intend to do for the finished product is also mask out every single one of these shots that are being fired in addition to this other gentleman with the lightsaber over here. And if as you're doing this you decide that the lightsaber isn't bright enough or the shots aren't or even that you flat out like to change the colour, you can add an effect to the track underneath. So for example, what I've actually done in this case, if we go through to say about here, I decided that the lightsaber in fact wasn't bright enough. So if we look at my second track, 
that was how it was originally. I added a histogram effect to brighten up the green, and I thought that was a better effect. But again, I think in most situations where you don't have a giant glowing laser sword, you're, you're probably not going to have to worry about that. And now I'll show you the overall end effect. Thank <laughs> you. 